I have been CPU mining six different coins on six different CPUs for the last seven days to find out if anything at all is profitable CPU mining in 2025. So around a week ago now, I posted the start video of this test to find out what exactly we could mine and if these calculators are accurate. I picked these coins based on what was the most profitable based on the calculators to see if they're anywhere close to accurate or profitable and to find out if you guys can get CPU mining again in 2025 and make a little bit of money on the side. So today we're going to look at those results. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So let's start up here on our top rack. From left to right, first we've got this 5900X. This is using 140 watts under volted to one volt or thereabouts. This is on Pulsar coin. This is that newer coin that we were talking about in the previous video. Never mined this before, so very interested to see the results on that. Next up, we've got our 7950X. This is on Cubic. Epoch 150, ignore this 3080 graphics card on it. We're just testing something else now as the seven days is up. That's using around 150, 160 watts. I'll have all the numbers for you when we do the analysis. Moving on to the right here, we've got our 5950X paired with a 4070. Now this is on good old Warthog, not a direct CPU mining coin, but you know we love Warthog, so we thought we'd throw that in there anyway. Gee, a bit of dust on this 4070. Might need a clean up, but that's for another time. Now moving down here to our rack of three. These are all 5900Xs. Same undervolt, same overclocks, same curve optimizer, and the same power draw. So we have one here on Salvium. The other one is on Etica. And last but not least, we have this one on good old Zephyr Protocol, just mining away. And unfortunately, we couldn't use this one right here, the 3900X. This is broken for some reason. When you lift up the fan, the CPU comes with it. The CPU mount bracket has just randomly broken, so don't know what that's all about. Hadn't touched it for a month, turned it on, and it, uh, it was damaged. So yeah, that's always great. So... The three 5900X is there. And then of course, we've got the other three rigs, the 5950X, 7950X, and one more 5900X. So let's jump on over to the computer now and we'll talk about some hash rates. Jumping on over here into our Hive OS dashboard, we can see exactly what we're mining, the CPUs and the various different coins now. Interestingly enough, we really get to see the silicon lottery come into effect here. These 5900Xs, all on the random X uh, algorithm, very, very different hash rates. Now, all with the same undervolt. I think it was right on 1 or 1.05. Um, and yeah, different different hash rates for the uh, the same algorithm. We're anywhere from 10 kilohash up to nearly 12 on Etica. So I thought that was really interesting. This Pulsar coin, um, 13 kilohash right now, but that did jump up and down from anywhere from, you know, 12 or so, all the way up to 15, I think. You can see up and down and all the way up to 17, in fact. So all over the place, uh, this Pulsar coin, as far as hash rate. A Warthog rig has been solid. That's been at about, you know, 800 mega hash or so 760 to 800 mega hash depending on the reboots because it does recalculate um, the cpu range when it does that the 7950x on cubic now it is a new uh, epoch and so the uh, mining profitability does change but for the previous uh, epoch we were at about 18.82 kilo hash or about 18,000. ITs. As I said previously, ignore this 3080. We're chucking it on and testing something else. But that's what we're working with at the moment. We've got the six online. All the 5900Xs are around 140, you know, 135 to 142 given the range. Um, but I'm not too worried about the five watts or so. We're basically just looking for a baseline answer here, profitable or not. 
and the seven watts, let me tell you, doesn't make a huge difference. So now let's jump on over and see exactly what we've yielded from all of these different CPUs on the different algorithms and find out if any of them actually made a profit. So over here on Coin Gecko, the first thing you're going to notice is the absolute abundance of red. Look, you know, the 60 days for Warthog, everything, 56%, 70%, 68%. Everything is just super in the dumps right now. Salvium, surprisingly, the last 30 days has done all right. I think that's because of the audit they've done. And now that the coin is uh, the coins are withdrawable again on exchanges, wallets, things like that. So that might have something to do with it. But starting off the top, we've got Warthog, 21 Warthog worth $10.20. Now, these numbers are all in Australian dollars. So do your own conversions if you want the dollar amount but we'll do a spreadsheet at the end and that will tell you the profitability either way so the conversion won't matter as far as a is it profitable or is it not moving down we've got etica 48.13 etica worth three dollars and 67 cents zephyr protocol good old zeph uh 4.435 zephyr worth three dollars and 39 cents salvium only 24 sal worth two dollars and 90 cents Pulsar coin, 4,690 Pulsar coin for $2.21. I thought I was going to get a bit more Pulsar than this. The calculator on the uh, Cedric Crispin website said it was making about 1,100 Pulsar a day, um, which would put me closer to the, you know, 8,000 Pulsar. So, you know, not that close as far as a calculator. And poor old Cubic, 726,496 Cubic worth $1.40. That's a rough one, man. Poor old Cubic has uh, the profits have really fallen out of that from when we were doing videos a few months ago. We were making, I made hundreds of dollars a week profit on, uh, you know, GPU mining rigs and CPUs on Cubic. So that's fallen a long way, unfortunately. But those are the numbers. That's what we're looking at at the moment. So we've got, you know, the yield, how many coins we've mined, how many dollars we've made. So now let's find out if these are actually profitable because of course we've got to pay electricity and now the profit they're the only thing profitable here warthog and this isn't a direct cpu mining uh, coin obviously the cpu plays a massive part if not the most important part when it comes to warthog mining but paired with the 4070 we made three bucks 20 this week off warthog alone and as you can see everything else Etica losing about 10 cents, Zephyr losing about 50 cents, Salvium lost over a dollar, Pulsar coin a dollar 80, and poor old Cubic three dollars and 60 cents. We lost on that uh, 7950X. So very, very far away from profitable, unfortunately, CPU mining is right now. And as I mentioned, these are the coins that are profitable. So you know we might test some other ones that are sort of further down the list on those calculators but the calculators did tell us what we already know pretty much nothing is profitable at 12 cents anyway if you were to go down to 10 cents you might squeeze some profit out of etica and uh and zephyr but probably not a lot so is cpu mining profitable in 2025 well unfortunately no well, not right now, at least. We did see Warthog was still profitable, but look, that's not a direct CPU mining coin, so probably not a fair comparison. But everything else, Etica, Zephyr, Salvium, far, far away from profitable at 12 cents electric, which look, isn't the best electric rate, but it's definitely a lot better than the international averages. So I'd assume that most people are at this rate or well above. So. This sort of prices you out of CPU mining right now, unfortunately. But the one caveat to that is while the profitability is down, the hash rate is also down, meaning your yield is up. And with some of these coins down 100% over the last few months, it could be a good chance to snag a bit of extra yield and then hope that those coins break a profit or really boom as far as price over the coming six to 12 months. But Look, this is all speculation. Obviously, mine at your own risk. You're going to have to pay electricity. There is a chance the hardware could die. So that's what we're looking at, guys. The long short of it, no, not profitable right now as far as daily returns. I hope that gave you a little more insight into CPU mining in 2025. And if it did, leave me a comment. 
hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, join the Discord, link is in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.